At the first start of the process, the jacket of the DREC pyrolysis reactor is brought to a sufficient temperature. Special spiral leaves designed for direct reactor are also contacted with heat. The direct reactor inner volume is heated homogeneously and prepared for the pyrolysis process. When the direct pyrolysis reactor reaches sufficient heat, the previously shredded rubber pieces are sent to the system. Shredded vehicle tires are fed directly into the pyrolysis reactor from the lower zone and transported upwards through the pyrolysis reactor. When the vehicle rubber parts come directly to the upper part of the pyrolysis reactor, the pyrolysis process takes place and pyrolytic gas and carbon are formed. When the pyrolytic gas and carbon black come to the distributor, the pyrolytic gas is sent to the upstream heat exchangers. Carbon black flows downstream from the lower region. The pyrolytic gas is cooled in the heat exchangers and passes into the liquid phase and pyrolytic liquid is produced. The black of the loss is cooled by passing through the refrigerated helix and sent out of the system. A part of the pyrolytic gas passing through the heat exchangers cannot be liquefied and this gas is passed through the safety tanks and sent to the burner for the energy need of the system. Excess pyrolytic gas is burned in the chimney system. The process continues continuously, carbon black is sent to the packaging unit with an additional spiral. The pyrolytic liquid is sent to the other module for reprocessing. The falling film evaporator heat uses the flue heat of the direct prolysis reactor. The heat of the chimney is used to separate the water and light hydrocarbons in the pyrolytic liquid and also provides energy efficiency. The pyrolytic oil falling film is sent to the upper part of the evaporator. The pyrolytic liquid supplied from the upper part of the falling film evaporator heats up to 120 degrees until it reaches the lower part of the evaporator. And the water and light hydrocarbons in the pyrolytic liquid are evaporated and sent to the heat exchangers from the separator upper. From the bottom of the falling film evaporator, the dewatered prolytic oil is sent to the thin film evaporator. In the thin film evaporator, the pyrolytic oil is heated up to 210 degrees and fine volatiles such as thinner and gasoline are separated from it. The pyrolytic oil taken from the lower part of the thin film evaporator is sent to the other thin film evaporator. Where diesel fuel is separated from the content of the pyrolytic oil at a temperature of 310 degrees. Pyrolysis oil, whose diesel fuel is separated, is taken from the thin film evaporator bottom and this product is fuel oil.
In the process, it is decomposed into pyrolytic liquid compounds. After these processes, water, gasoline, diesel and fuel oil are produced. Gasoline and diesel are passed through molecular filter and become ready for use. Molecular filtering is not required for water and fuel oil.